stakes here at the Rumble. We have got a championship match of your choice for the winner, but also there is the wild card of eliminating a tag champ to get a tag shot to. Introducing too. participant number one, representing Misery Business, Alan Kay! Talking about tag teams, Misery Business, represented by Alan Kay, is number one. That is correct, Mark. Entrant number one, hell of a lot of opportunity on the line. Alan Kay could put himself in line for a title shot. Here's the thing. Also, a tag team title shot. Well, here's the thing, right? He could eliminate, let's say, Jack Bandicoot, get his tag title shot, exactly. and then win the Rumble and get a championship shot of his choice elsewhere. So you could, you could potentially win two titles To specify here on the rules of the tag team championship. And introducing participants. Two. I'll get back to this. But you can, you can get two title shots out of this one, Two. Wait a sec. What? what? Introducing number wow. two. Representing Misery Business. Show way! Well, that is interesting. Are they going to work as a team to get that tag title shot? That is. Are they going to try and eliminate each other because they, you know, you've got to do that by the end of the by the end of the match. That is a hell of a coincidence here. Well, that's the way it works, well, you know. Yeah, every, yeah. Everyone had a one in thirty chance of being number one. Everyone had a one in thirty chance of being number two. Now this is interesting. Are we going to see a handshake? And are they going to wait for two minutes? What are they going to do? What does each person in this match, what does Alan Kay want more? What does Joe Wade want more? Do they want tag team opportunities? Do they want singles opportunities? It's 2024, it's a new year. Don't forget, Wade has already had a gruelling triple threat match this evening. So if they do decide to go at it, it's a massive advantage for Alan Kay. Absolutely. Alan Kay, the fresher man in this, you can see the welts on the back of Joe Wade after that triple threat contest earlier this evening. What, what are we going to see at? Uh, the bell has rung. Yeah, yeah. Well, so two minutes and our next entrance will be coming out. Handshake. Handshake. Oh, hello. It looks I like they're going to go at it. I guess that only means one thing. Wade. Are they just, te what, are they just testing the waters for each other? Stinging strike to the leg. And another. Going for it again. That, that'll knot up your leg and uh, slow you down. And also, Alan Kay looks like he's getting a little bit frustrated. Ooh, close fist to the gut. Well, everything's legal in the, uh, it is in in the Rumble. It is indeed. The true grip Rumble once a year. Okay, Colin Elbow tight. No, yep. no, Alan, no, no, no. Alan Kay, the bigger man in this. You've got to assume he's got the strength advantage, particularly over a Joe Wade that has already worked one match this evening. Joe Wade won his match, don't forget that. He could win a tag team title shot and he could win the Rumble. He could have three wins in it, one night. It would be quite the night for Joe Wade. And just to expand on this tag team title opportunity, it isn't necessarily with your tag team partner. So say for instance, if Joe Wade eliminates uh, the Pop Punk Kid and Vuzik were to eliminate Jack Bandicoot, the tag team match would then be Joe Wade and Vuzik versus the tag team champion. It isn't necessarily with yeah. your tag team partner. And here's the thing, that could create something beautiful. It could. Or it could create something incredibly chaotic. It Five, could indeed. Or you could see tag teams three, working together to two, try and eliminate one. both of the tag champions <laughs> together. Absolutely. And we are here with entrance number three. Okay. So... They've had a go, but now they want to see who's <laughs> Poot Poot representing the Meat Wagon, Troy Fryer! The Meat Wagon just rolled into town, Mark. It's in Troy Leeds. Troy Ryan's here. Big Troy Ryan takes down both members of the Misery business. I He's love looking this red man. Hot. The meat is cooking! Go on, Troy! He's got Wade. Wade in trouble! Lifting Joe Wade up. Can he just throw him just out? No, he gives him to Alan Kay! <laughs> just lobbed him. 
lobbed him at his own tag team partner. Misery business are in for a real bout of misery now. Did you hear the chance of meat? Oh, look at that. Oh. Kay protects Wade. I think they are working together to they try are. and get that tag shot. Very much going to have to now, especially you don't want to go into a triple threat situation with someone as strong as Troy Ryan. And here's the tag team continuity we've seen from and Misery Business. Troy Ryan in serious trouble and he's still got a good couple of seconds to go. Great showing when he enters, but it is two on one with an experienced tag team. That Troy is the Ryan case. in trouble. Troy Ryan's in real trouble. Both men managing to attempt to lift him over, but you've got that meat wagon power. When I heard that poop, 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 I was like, is it? And it was. Yeah, it was indeed. It was, a, it was a meat wagon. It was a meat wagon rolling into Drew Grit Wrestling. The Joe meat wagon's in Leeds today. Breaks his knee against the face of Troy Ryan, disorientating, but look at the power. Look, look, look at the Wade. strength. Alan Kay saving his tag team partner once again. A reminder, Joe Wade has worked a match this evening. Well, Kay is a beefy boy, like the boys from the meat wagon. Five, four, three, We've got two, someone else one. about Who's to next? make their entrance in the True Great Rumble. Introducing number oh, four, well, representing Nash Ace Matthews! Another tag team wrestler enters the Rumble. Matthews, one half of Nash Boat, alongside Wing Commander Nash. For a second, a for a second I was worried. He's got a dog. That it would be the Wing Commander. I love the Wing Commander. Do you? Yeah. That's nice. Just, it's just a happy lad who just, just gets everyone involved. It's magic, so does Ace Matthews. Oh, he's, he's brought rubber ducks for everyone. Imagine if Nashmo were to get that tag shot. Oh, don't say stupid I'd things, I'd love Mark. that. It's, oh, everyone's got a duck. Duck. Get rid of oh. it. That's a boy, Troy. Troy Ryan chucks his that duck. Oh, boy. The triple team on Troy Ryan who chucked his duck. Oh, and now, now violence party of Troy That's it. Ducks. Well done, misery business. Off he goes. Looking to eliminate Off Matthews. Off he goes. Matthews in real trouble. Clutching that bottle some... out. Let's well, get some seriousness back in. Matthews is back in, though. And it's Matthews going against Alan Kay. And Wade going against uh, Troy Ryan. Troy Ryan has the upper hand here. He's managed to get Joe Wade up into the corner. Matthew seems to be managing to outpower Alan Kay at the minute. No mean feat, though. Interesting perspective. This would mean if Alan Kay is eliminated, Misery Business will not, as a pair, get the tag team title no. shot. It'd be Joe Wade and someone Four, else. Three, Tell you what, two, two minutes goes fast, one. doesn't it? It does indeed, especially now the ring's starting to fill up. Oh, 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 oh. That means... That means representing the meat wagon at number five, Anderson Daniels! Anderson Daniels, the meat wagon, is in full effect. Breaker, breaker, here we go. Both meat wagon members are here, and it is Ace Matthews in trouble. That's a lot of meat. And this That's is... That's a lot of meat. This is the most important entrant in this rumble so far. Meat wagon combined. Well, the meat wagon is complete, as is the misery business. Taking it to Ace Matthews. That, you know what, that's why I respect these lads so much. They don't suffer any fools. Ace Matthews is a fool, they refuse to suffer him. Well, Got a lot of time for the meat wagon, boys. Misery business and meat wagon going at it. Introduce yourselves. Meeting to the, the meat. team division. Beautiful slams from both boys there. Big beefy boys going at Ace Matthews now. Level the playing field. Get yourselves that tag team shot, boys. No elimination so far in the rumble. We have five out of 30 in the ring. 
We do indeed. There is no one to be eliminated so far, but Ace Matthews is looking to be in real trouble. One sixth of the competitors have made their way to the ring so far. We've got a lot of rumble left, no eliminations. And you can't forget that all five there right now are tag team competitors who have got to be looking at that very, tag team shot. Very well done on that uh, fraction, by the way. I know, it, it did very take me well a while done. to work it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Can you turn it into a Three, percentage? No, two, absolutely one. not. <sighs> Who's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, number six. It's a tag One half of the well, true great wrestling tag team champions. The Pop Punk Kid, Jake Silver! That is an unlucky draw for Jake Silver. Number six enters in with nothing but tag team oh surrounding boy. him. Oh boy, oh boy, everyone wants that shot. Everyone just has to just remind realized. everybody, if you eliminate a tag team champion, you will get a title match. Jake Silver. They've all gone for him. Jake Silver. <laughs> Jake Silver taking down the entirety of the ring so far. But he's in real, real trouble now. The Meat Wagon boys, they understand what Meat happens wagon. here. Are they going to get that shot? You get one, you've only got to get the other. But misery business clocked it. Silver. Skin of his teeth. Very, very dangerous position. He's gone over the top rope if he falls off the ring now. Matthews going for it. Ace Matthews wants a tag team opportunity. Look at, look at this by Jake Silver. Meat Wagon very, very He's clever backing. there. They understand what's at stake. Silver has got a target on his back and his front and his face. On his everything, basically. That, that, is, that is basically the case here. Every single person in that ring wants to eliminate Jake Silver and Jake Silver only right now. All for the sake of a title, uh, tag team title opportunity. But they've got to look at eliminating other people too. You've, you, that, is the, yeah, that is the end game. Four, three, two, Who's next? One. Who's next? Jake Silver's got to hope it's a friendly face. And it just might be. At number seven, he's the 21st century liability, Natalie Sykes. Well, you say friendly face. Natalie Sykes did use the tag with the pop punk kids. But can she be trusted? That's it. It's what does she want more? Is she hitting people, is she hitting people with a mobile completely, phone? Completely legal. Depends how much you like your phone. Oh. oh, hello. Can well, it oh, looks like, a selfie. Looks like they're in a friendly mood with each other. Oh, oh no. no! No, Natalie Sykes wants, wants a tag team title opportunity. Uh, the the pop punk kid's in trouble. Meat Wagon realising what was at stake there. Acting decisively, that's good strategy. So she couldn't be trusted, could she? Nope. Nope. Jake Silver is Silver's in. Silver's back in, though. An arguably worse position than he Ace. was before. Ace is chucking him over the oh top again. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This would be a Who's travesty. Gone? That Who's was Joe Wade eliminated by Meat Wagon. Meat Wagon eliminated Joe Wade. Joe Wade has been eliminated. There's the confirmation. Meat Wagon drawing first blood in this rumble. The full Misery Business are not getting that title shot. Alan Kay is the only person out of Misery Business now that well, can gain a tag team title. Alan Kay could get a shot alongside, let's say, this Natalie is, Sykes. This is what we said, he's got to do a hell of a... He's got a hell of a challenge against him, particularly his entrant number one in this match. He's got to outlast 29 other people in this... Four, this match and we're three, about to see who the next two, person is. Silver once again on the outside. He's in a precarious position. Oh. At number eight, the other half of Nash Boat, Wing Commander Nash! There he is! Look at him! Nash! Oh, he's, he's got rid of the duck key. That's probably for the best. That's probably a good idea. He's in. 
Nash is here. It is very much sink or swim. Off the ropes. No, no, no. That was quite a meaty thing to throw yourself that at, really. That was a that. very, very silly idea. Me wagon. But here's a great idea. Me wagon. Anderson Daniels landing straight across the chest of the wing commander. The punk kid, keep your eye on him. In a very, very dangerous he's, position again. He's back in. Ace Matthews. He's back in. Trips by his own tag team partner. By mistake. I it, well, it doesn't matter. Well, he's going to be a costly one. The, the wagon. wagon. Rolling again. Well, they've oh. got the Nash. I was going to say that it's uh, it makes the playing field a bit more interesting with both members of Nashville in the ring, but it doesn't seem to have made that much of a difference, if I'm honest. Sykes, they've tried to eliminate the wing commander, but he's gone through he's that. He's crawled back through the he's bottom back rope. Up. Wing Natalie commander, Sykes and Jake Silver. They've done it again, and he's and, he, and, he, and he's, he's come back through again. Natalie Sykes knocked down quite hard to the ring there. She makes her way to the corner. Right, he's, he's back in again. Ace Matthews in real trouble as both members of Meat Wagon. Nash needs to save his partner here. He does manage to break it up. Only Wing Command, only... Uh, oh, for God's sake. Four, only Wing three, Command. Two, one. <laughs> and number nine, the other half of the Tag Team Champions, Jack Bandicoot. Well, now this is interesting. It Bandicoot. is indeed is here and he can at least work with his partner to protect each other now this is exactly what jake silver needed takes down natalie sykes nash is down anderson no, daniels that, that though that, that was no. never gonna work it's, it's like kicking a wall i think crash bolt might be staring at their futures the wagon want that championship shot striking contest against the wagon is not a good idea no! That's it! Go on, lads! Make your mark! Come on, boys! Escape, though. No! And into one another down the meat wagon. Assisted DDT! Come on, Daniels! Daniels in trouble! Feet. This is it. This is a golden opportunity. You have to take it. Crash boat looking strong. And it, well, it looks like Sykes is working with them. They have worked as a team before, Natalie Sykes. Maybe she's turned her eyes onto the singles uh, opportunities that are available. Oh, hello. Took too long trying to eliminate Troy Ryan. It is a hard task. Well, it's a meaty boy. Ace Matthews with one of the tag team champions, Jack Bandicoot. Bandicoot's oh, in trouble. Has Matthews got him? He's, he's on the apron. Silver went to save him at the last second. And Nash! The, Nash! No, no, Nash Not tried, No, that didn't work. Quite sure what he was trying to achieve there. Silver's on the outside again. So. Four, let me three, wagon. New entrant two, here. One. And who is this? It looks like we've got another surprise on. Introducing at number 10, Lily Winter! But a debut for Lily Winter. This mysterious, icy That's queen. Right. We, don't, we don't know much about why Lily Winter is here in True Grit Wrestling. We well, know that she was announced for, for the Rumble. Sykes. Straight in at Natalie Sykes, making a move there. Well, Big shoot to the chest. Bandicoot, I'm sorry. Ducks Silver. alive for Jake Silver. And Lily Winter making her mark. Well, I think she wants a Crash title Bolt. shot too. Crash Bot and Natalie Sykes. Who doesn't want a title shot? No. Just managing to beat down Jack Bandicoot there. Shotgun drop kick. There's a lot of humanity in that ring right now. And, and Troy Ryan just out of nowhere takes down Lily Winter. Stops the rampage. We've still only had one elimination, Joe Wade. And now we've got nine people in the ring. We've had a third of our entrants make their way to the Rumble. This is excellent faction work here, Mark. Thanks. 
Oh no! Who went out then? Alan Kay! Alan Kay's gone! Misery Alan business! Kay has been eliminated! Misery business has been eliminated! And we've got straight off the back of that meat wagon taking out Alan Kay. Nash Boat came in straight from behind to try and eliminate the big lads. Well, misery business, not the best day at the office for them, unfortunately. Now they put in a great showing coming in at the uh, first two entrants, but it's always going to be four, a difficult task. Three, two, one. Oh, Introducing wow. number 11. He weighs in at 5,000 pounds lighter. This is Sean Only. Bobby Cash with the sass, but he ain't wrong. El Bills out beat Sean only at the I, last show. I don't think, I don't think Bobby Cash. I knew you know who beat Sean only at the last show, and it was El Bilzo. El Bilzo, the mystery man. Oh look at this, taking his anger out on crash boats. Sean only is absolutely furious after the events of the close of last year. Lily Winter looking to eliminate Natalie Sykes. Lands on the apron. Would be a hell of a statement to eliminate a fan favourite here in the True Grit Rumble. But again, Sean Only is taking his anger out on Crash Boat. I don't think he cares about the title shot. He just wants to hurt Absolutely people right not, now. Absolutely not, but he would get, he would get oh, he would. a fast track to a title match for the Tag Team Championships. Silver once again on the ring apron. Anderson, Anderson Daniels has Jack Bandicoot up, nearly eliminated him. I think Troy Ryan realised the situation. Troy Ryan now got turns his attention back to Jake Silver, I who he's Silver. blocked again. I think he spent more time on the apron than he has in the ring. He's putting himself in a dangerous spot. But he's back in though. Natalie Sykes and. Uh, Wing Commander Nash seems to be having Nash a conversation. Is, is Nash oh, gone? Ace Matthews, Matthews manages him. to save him. Matthews saves him. That's because they want that title shot. You wouldn't normally see that. Not in this situation, no, but you've got to think that that's the reason why. Nash has got his nose and he threw it away. Oh, he got one. Sean kicked only was him. not the right person Two, to do that to. One. Nash is in serious trouble now. Well, Sash Introducing number 30. 12, Cash Money Sash. Sash couldn't buy number 30 by the looks of things. You've got to think he tried. Cut the music, cut the music, cut the music. Unlike all of you poor dossers sitting here in the crowd, the money mogul Cash Money Sash does what he wants when he wants. Sash is cash, sit down, you clown. And I'm not gonna give that ring until I'm good and ready. Because my name is Sash, and Sash is cash! Well, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Sash not happy with his placement in the Rumble order. The number that he drew, not satisfactory. He's gonna enter the Matthews, Rumble when he's Matthews good. eliminated by the meat wagon. Ace Matthews has been eliminated. Well, Nash won't not getting that title shot. That is a monumental win for the meat wagon. And I don't know if you've noticed yet, Mark, but meat wagon currently lay claim to every single elimination so far. That's pretty good. And Jake Silver was was on the ground there. He's had to roll out of the ring, I'm guessing. We haven't yeah, had an elimination he didn't go over call. the top, so it's not an elimination. But Sash is sat next to Bobby Cash. Is that legal? It absolutely is. Sash is, uh, Sash is able to enter the ring whenever he so chooses. Well, that's a loophole. There is, there is an interesting one. If someone does decide to get into the ring before Sash, they are able to take his place, but so far we've got, we've got everyone announced for the Rumble so far. I haven't seen anyone that could potentially take that extra place. Currently now, on to our next entrant in the True Great Rumble. 
Introducing number 13, Rio! Lucky for some, number 13, Rio. Gotta think she's gotta be looking for redemption after she lost a tag match with Zerico against Ivy and Brady at Jacob's Ladder. Absolutely, once again, 2024 off to a better start. She's than got 2023 right for ended. Sykes and Sykes, Purple Haze. What a most phenomenal athlete. <laughs> on the British wrestling Jack scene. Mandicoot. And she's gone for sure. And only nobody says she's not intimidated by the meat wagon either. If there's anyone here that could take the entirety of the tag team title opportunity. Now she's chasing Silver around the ring. Putting himself in a really precarious situation. Anderson Daniels of Meat Wagon nearly has Nash down. Nash in trouble. Nash is in real trouble. That will be a horrible way to fall out of the ring as well. Lily Winter going toe to toe with Rio on the other side of the ring. Those two don't care who they fight. That would be a hell of a thing to do on your debut for Lily Winter to eliminate Rio. One of the top performers Na in Nash UK is still wrestling chasing today. Silver on the outside. Oh, he's, he's gone past it. He's, he's just going Sides down. past the corner. Five, four, what is Nash doing? Three, and we have two, another entrant on one. the way. He's got back in. And, and he's, he's gone. But he's, he's gone for Silver. He wants that tag shot. And he's got a submission holding place for That's not Jake gonna Silver. Work. That's not. Silver's up. Meanwhile, checking whether. Uh... Introducing number 14. Introducing number 14. My friend. He is one half of Cash Check. He is Vuzik. Vuzik's here. Vuzik at number 14. He's almost been at purchased. the halfway point. He's been purchased as a bodyguard by Sash who has still not made his way actually into Lily the ring Winter at this Lily Winter has been eliminated. And Lily Winter, as Vuzik made his entrance, was eliminated from the True Grit Rumble. Sash is in. And Sash has made his way into the ring now, targeting the Pop Punk Kid. We've got another, again, another tag team on display here with Vuzik and Sash. It's a very, very new one. Well, it's a it's music a, just clobbers Jack Bandicoot. Bandicoot, in Bandicoot. Trouble. he in didn't, trouble. didn't go over the top rope. Didn't go over the top rope. He went through. Well, he's back in anyway, so you know. But he good. is he is toe to toe with music, which is real trouble. She's on that top rope. Oh no, no. Oh, no wagon having a little bit of fun, oh, and they take him Nash. down. Wing Commander Nash Wing eliminated. Nash has been eliminated. And now that she's is gone. another full tag team that will not be able to take a tag team opportunity. Both tag team champions still in the ring in the True Grit Rumble. And it looks like Vuzik and Sash are working as a team to get that shot. And then you've also got Meat Wagon on the other side. That would be an interesting situation to have if both members of Meat Wagon eliminate one half and Sash and Vuzik eliminate the others. Meat Wagon, two big boys, using that to their advantage in the Rumble and talking about big boys. Number 15, from Leeds, Kemper! Well, we've got another brand new addition to the True Grit Wrestling roster here. Look at the size of the tattooed warrior, Kemper. The only thing we know about this man is he's called Josh Kemper and he's absolutely massive. Well, he... He just pulled through short only. That's Pulled through me like oh, that no. is. It, whoa. So at the halfway point of our rumble with Kemper entering the ring. Music saves Sash. Sacrifices himself for Sash, but my goodness, the height of that choke slam. And it only prolongs the inevitable. Down goes Sash. Kemper Me into the corner. Bloody hell. Understanding that they need to work together, they need to get the big man out. 
Bloody hell, Kemper, what a first impression. Get out of his way. Uh, the meat wagon. Lot of meat wagon got planned. Oh my god! Whatever they had planned, it didn't work. That is not working well for Meat Wagon and every single member of the Rumble so far. Bartram's that is a shame. Ryan. Troy Ryan and Anderson Daniels have both been eliminated. The Meat Wagon are gone. Both members, whatever they were thinking, it backfired like Five, hell. Four, that three, is. Two, one. That is unfortunate for Meat Wagon. Sorry, boys. Great showing by Meat Wagon. Some eliminations. They look strong, but they are gone. Introducing number 16, Gia Adams. Great to see Gia Adams back here after a strong showing at the True Grit Games for the Women's Championship. She's ready to go. Gia Adams makes her way into the Rumble. We have passed the halfway point now. This is when it starts getting a little bit different for the people already in the ring. You've got some people who have been in there for quite some time. Jake Silver in particular. Natalie Sykes has been in there for quite a while. Gia Jack Adams. Manicute's on the outside. He's in trouble here. Vuzik's got him. Gia Adams goes for Jake Silver. She gets him. Fall away slam. Vuzik. Fall away slam for him too. That is quite the feat for Gia Adams to take down Vuzik. Hello. Rio and Gia Adams, that's a match I'd like to see. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> those strikes. I think we're getting a little taste of what that would look like right now. There's some venom behind those forearms. Adams, no relation. Holding court. Hooks her. Center of the ring. Gia Adams manages to do dodge real, takes down her. Got a fall away slam for her too. Gia Adams, you've got to argue right now. Probably the current favorite within the ring. Hello, lock size oh. with Kemper. Oh my! Locks up, got a boot from the face there, takes her down. Kemper taking down Gia Adams with prejudice. Five, four, Who's three, next? Two, one. A lot of people. Bandicoot's in on this that. ring right now. Apron again. No, he's back in. It's winning. Number 17, Haley from Mexico. El Bizzo. Right. It's winning. It's El right. Bizzo. No, right. Okay. Is that so, are, we seriously, are we seriously still doing this? See? Si. Are we for real Beautiful still doing this? El Bizzo. Yeah, Billy O'Keefe does one just like it. Eh? No, no, we haven't seen Billy O'Keefe for ages. Yeah. El Bilzo, flying back elbow, Lucha Libre style. This is ridiculous. Es buena. I only know es buena. I don't really, don't really parlay Spanish very Donde much. Donde esta la biblioteca? Well, it's not down there. Oh, <laughs> done oh. by Sean only to Sean. the mysterious Mexican. Only getting his revenge. Throws him over the top rope. El Bilzo. No, Hanging no, on. feet haven't touched the floor. Only though, all he's got to do is just get... Bilzo! Bilzo to Bilzo. take that run. No! He's eliminated, Sean only. Sean only has been eliminated! Ay, ay, ay! Oh, El Bilzo channeling his Mexican heritage with that leg scissors. What the hell? Oh, and oh, only's, Sean only. only's back in. He's Not taking that. It. Not taking. And he's just taking it lying beating down. Beating up El Bilzo. That's not okay. Sean, you were eliminated. Sean only is very much of the oh, case of no. fool me once. Bilzo. Now he went through the second, but will he even be able to get up after having his head and smashed Sean, against the ring Sean post? only is not finished with El Bilzo. This is not cool. Throws him into the fans. Well, a dark, oh. dark turn to this match. Well, as bitter Sean only. You say it's dark, I call it just returns. Bills are not moving at all. Thrown back into the ring by Sean The siren only. sounds. 
Introducing number 18, the Jack Stack Daddy Shreddy! The Jack Stack Daddy, he's back. He is a sight to behold, making his way into the rumble in a prime position at number 18. Shreddy made spent most of 2023 on the shelf <laughs> back from injury and debuting in true grit <laughs> first impression with a pair of t-man suplexes for the tag champs i think i know who shreddy wants to eliminate i Everybody. think i know what he wants oh my god spit and natalie sykes jack bandicoot incensed by that well wow. lifted think, up i think sasha's i think sasha's eliminated el bilzo Shreddy demanding a microphone. El Bilzo has been eliminated. And in the confusion, we did lose El Bilzo. Although, to be fair, Credit I don't think he knows where he is. Who's the daddy? Is that it? Is that it? Well, it's just a testament to the to the presence of Shreddy that he can step in the middle of a ring. I feel so bad for El Bilzo. He looked great eliminating Sean only. And then Sean only. Natalie Bitter. Sykes lost after the uh, the spear that she took from Shreddy. Well, I, I guess mean, it was only a matter of time there. Five, four, this is fast-paced pandemonium Shreddy right now. Absolutely taking it to Josh Kemper in that oh. corner. Bloody hell. Introducing number 19, Team Stray! Look at the size of Tim Strange. That's right, the Canadian Cowboy makes his way into the True Great Rumble Bionic Elbow to both the tag team champion Jake Silva and Sash. And Rio takes one. Vuzik. Vuzik went down like Jack, a sack of Jack sports. Bandicoot got up, he went back down again. Now he's down one more time. That's a lot of beef <laughs> right there. <laughs> Look at this. Double chop to the chest of Josh Kemper. Strange is a huge human. Look at this. There's more chops than a wholesale butchers. That's a lot of meat. Indeed it is, Mark. Tim Strange just taking it to Josh Kemper on those ropes, but Kemper manages to power Strange through. Shreddy has Gia Adams in the corner, but Gia goes for the hair of Shreddy. Whatever works in a rumble. Silver's in trouble again. Almost eliminated Once by again, Sash. Sash nearly taken out. Jake Silver. Jake Silver's down. Vuzik's got a Vuzik. tag team title. Vuzik took it. Jake him. Silver has been eliminated. Vuzik has earned a tag team title match. Well. So we now know who one member of the next tag team title match will be. Well, I think Sasha's also hired Shreddy as a bodyguard. It would look like there's a little bit of pandemo, a little bit of the same here going on. Little, uh, a new alliance has been formed. Shreddy and Vuzic. Jack Bandicoot in real trouble. Five, four, three, two, one. Bandicoot, five. Just life. about manages to get back in, rolls out of trouble. Hugs the ropes on the other side of the ring. Introducing number 20. Tonga! Tonga's back. She also had a strong showing at True Grit Games and returns in the Rumble. Indeed, we haven't seen Tonga at True Grit since Vuzik True Grit Games. Vuzik understands. Tonga. There's one more tag team opportunity and he's going to want it with a partner that he already knows, Sasha or Shreddy. Reverse DDT, but... One of them, Gia Adams goes straight for Tonga. Adams has gone straight for Tonga, you're not wrong. Tonga with a big boot, manages to save herself from what would have been a disaster there. Plants Gia Adams straight into the centre of the ring. Tonga. Tim Strange, though. That's... Yeah, you don't want to miss this, big Tim. Tim Strange, that oh, headbutt to Tonga takes her down. What Just is Bandicoot. Bandicoot thinking? This is risky for Bandicoot. Yeah, in trouble. And once again, he's in the hands of Shreddy and Sash. Double teaming him now. Jack Bandicoot 
We may be about to find out who the next member of the tag team title match will be. Bandicoot in trouble. Vuzik not able to get to his his teaming of Sash and Shreddy. He's currently dealing with Josh Kemper in the center of the ring. To be fair, Kemper's that's a lot got to deal Vuzik with. Up. Down goes Vuzik with a power bomb. That is, and we know that Vuzik is a tough, tough individual. But that looks like it's completely winded him. Kemper, Kemper. eliminates Vuzik. What? Vuzik has been eliminated. Hell of a scalp. What a statement for Josh Kemper to make on his debut. Yeah, hell of a scalp. Who's next? Who's next? We've already got two thirds of the rumble out here. Introducing number 21, H.T. Drake. And H.T. Drake, as usual, in phenomenal shape. No. Waving that water bowl. All around the true great fans. Wow, the disrespect to that fan there. But he, he probably bought it on himself, let's be real. HT Drake, as usual. Oh, what a straight to the face of Gia Adams. Josh Use Kemper and Jack Vandekoop. That, that, that oh, didn't work against Tim Strange. That was, that was perhaps a big mistake. Big being the opportunity. Oh, that worked. Oh, 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 oh. That worked. To matter how big you are if you get kicked right where the sun don't shine. If in doubt. And HC Drake takes down Rio. So that kick. Water to Songa as well. Uses Tonga's weapon Tonga. against Rio. And what? Tonga's got. Oh no. Tonga's got Rio. HC Drake. Oh my god! He, he, he suplexed her into a Canadian destroyer! And now he's got Rio! Backdrop! Rio down, Rio in trouble. H.C. Drake making a statement like we haven't seen in this rumble so far. How do you even realise that that's something that a human can do? That is... H.C. Drake has just, from the second he stepped into the ring, just seen red. He's taking absolutely anyone and everyone down. He's gone for that title shot, though. He's gone for Bandicoot. That would be um, an interesting matchup of three, Vuzik and HD two, Drake against one. Crash Bolt. Not sure what Sash would think of it, but it would be a very, very interesting match. Introducing number 22, Jack Turner! And we saw Jack Turner open well, our proceedings this evening in a tag team title match. Well, he's had a tag shot. He's he can a second. He can, and he can also do it with a completely different partner. Well, he just I think that would work out quite well for him. He's gone for Bandicoot as well, and now he's got Rio. Headbutt to Rio. He's nuts, sir. There's a lot of humanity in the ring right now. Bandicoot has gone Bandicoot for Turner. again, and you've got to think he may have already... Uh, got chopped for it. Oh. Bandicoot just in a straight-up just it chopping can't. contest, and he's he's down. That ain't going to work, All Jack Turner's got to do now is... Tonga. Tonga Tonga's making to a Turner. save at the last second. Maybe it's Tonga that wants the tag team shot. Surely everyone wants the tag team shot. I don't think anyone's saying no to it, but look at this, Mark. Shreddy's got Jack Bandicoot up. Looking to eliminate him. HC Drake managed to stop a bit of momentum there. Jack Bandicoot takes him down. Sash. Look at this. 619. To the gut of Shreddy. Leads He's over. He kicks Sash. He's got Shreddy up. Strength by Bandicoot. Jack Breaks Bandicoot always eyes. full of surprises. Well, Sash and his bodyguards trying to get that tag shot, but it is not working. Oh, it's it ready, he's done it! Jack Bandicoot has been eliminated. Shreddy has earned a tag team championship man. Well, there Kimber. we go. Kemper just Four, took out Sash. Three, two, one. Cash Money Sash has been eliminated. Well, it's going to be a bit sweet. Introducing Roman number 23, oh Darren 
Diablo! This man won the 2020 Rumble. We haven't seen him. It, it, he's been out a year. We haven't seen him in True Grip for ages. We have not seen Dara Diablo in a hell of a long time at True Grip Wrestling. Money Sash has been eliminated. Just to remind you again, Sash was eliminated just before Dara Diablo made his entrance. Dara Diablo got to be considered a favourite now. He's won one of these matches. Takes down Tonga. Oh, he slams her with authority. And He's got the turn to Jack Turner. Tonga's in trouble. And I think, has he put... Oh, that's disgusting. Really? Seems a bit excessive. Shreddy's gone Shreddy for it, Shreddy went though. straight for the back of Dara Diablo. Dara Diablo, the veteran, but he gets slammed by Shreddy, the daddy, if you will. A lot of big characters in the ring right now. Jeer Adams and Tonga, no love lost between these two. They've brawled across the entire United Kingdom. Indeed they have. It would be probably a bit of a statement for one to eliminate the other. H.G. Drake taking it to Jack Turner. Correct, and we've got Tim, big, Strang Tim Strange going with Dara Diablo. Josh Kemper is uh, taking a moment to just reassess. We have avoided the attack of Shreddy. Shreddy's down! No, he eliminates him! Rio's eliminated Shreddy. Introducing number 24, Priscilla, Queen of the Ring! The Queen is here! And the Queen... Wow! The Queen... They're, they're, they're stomping on her hands! Not the hands of the Queen. Those are the slapping oh, hands. Oh, no, 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 no. They didn't. Priscilla. They broke her nails. Oh, that was a bad idea. She's slapping everybody. Oh. oh. Strange. Strange. Freddy has been eliminated. Oh, no. The lip no. lock. The lip lock. She's eliminated. Tim Strange. Tim Strange has Strange. been eliminated. Priscilla. Fabulous. Oh, HT Drake went for her. And Dara Diablo, too. Well, after the match of the last incredible. show. Oh, AC Drake and Priscilla went at it at our last show, and Drake gone for Priscilla again. Diablo and Drake now going at it. In a very, very precarious position, both close to the ropes. Priscilla manages to make her way to the corner, reassess the situation. Diablo. Jack Turner. Josh Kemper just brawling in the corner across from Priscilla. Diablo was on the outside for a while, but managed to get back in and has gone for Drake. And we've still got Gia Adams and Tonga going at it. They hate each other, really. I think that's probably quite a, quite an apt assessment of the situation, Mark. Dara Diablo and Jack Turner forming a little bit of an alliance on Josh Kemper in the corner. Drake has gone back on Priscilla. He just clearly doesn't like Priscilla. I don't think H.C. Drake likes anyone, if I'm perfectly honest That's with you. Fair. Five, four, three, two, one. Who's next? We... Are on to entry number 25. Introducing number 25, Helen Charlotte Campbell. Pure evil makes its way to the ring and blocks the slap of Priscilla. Helen hooks Cam her. Oh no. Fisherman suplex. After a stunning debut at Jacob's Ladder, Helen Campbell enters the True Grit Rumble. And it's going one-on-one -on -one with Rio. This is another match I would love again, to see. Again, make your mark. I'm just saying, at, at most Rio matches, to be fair, I want to see Yeah, them. I don't think there's anyone that you could put Rio in the ring with, and that wouldn't entice me to watch the match. Diving Lariat by Campbell takes out Rio. Tonga goes for Helen Campbell. Tonga gets suplexed. And Helen Campbell holding just caught Good the hell, center of the me, ring. Does. I don't like that. Gia <laughs> Adams, though. Shoulder block. 
She has gone straight, straight back, back to, to Tonga. Tonga. Straight back to Tonga. They really hate each other. It's clear. There is animosity there. She's put her on that apron. Can she finish it? Tonga, Tonga with the head. Pulling her, pulling her over the top. They've both gone over those top ropes. They're yeah. both in precarious positions now. Very, very bad situation for both of these. Brawling on the outside. Where needs to be. Tonga with the Gia knee. Adams has gone. Gia Adams has been eliminated. Tonga eliminates Gia Adams. But Gia Adams. Gia Adams not willing to let it slide. Cool. Not letting to let it slide at all. Tonga. Tonga's, Tonga's gone. gone. Tonga has been eliminated. Gia Adams Five, angered four, and takes three, it out on Tonga. Two, oh, Dara Diablo one. takes down Priscilla with a line. Crowd has thinned out slightly here now. Introducing number 26, Jet Marshall! Jet Marshall, we he saw him earlier today. He's going to the ring with that injured head, neck, by the uh, looks of it, but he's gone straight for Helen Gamble. Look at this. And for Dara speed. Diablo. And he takes that Rio. He's the fastest man alive. He is oh, pretty certainly fast. the fastest man at True Grit. He's gone for Jack Turner. He doesn't care who he hits. Absolutely not. Dari Diablo and Zagore. Down he goes. Hasty Drake, though, stopping the rise. Not of looking Jack about. Marshall. Not looking about HT Drake. He's going to be tough to stop in this rumble, but here comes. Brutal double chop, though, here from comes Jet, Jet Marshall. Fearless Jet Marshall, doesn't matter how big you are, he's going to go for you. Priscilla's gone for HT Drake after. Well, HT Drake gave her for him so moves. Much. Jet Marshall just from his way as he goes back to Dara Diablo. Campbell looking to eliminate Priscilla. And Dara and Turner going at it in the centre of the ring. Brutal headbutt from Dara Diablo. Jack Turner replies in kind. Have one back. Have a forearm too. And then Campbell goes for a little bit of separation from Priscilla. Sees that Rio was in precarious position. She has managed to get back into the Turner, ring. in trouble, he's gone. Is he out? Yes. Jack Turner has been eliminated. Dara Diablo gains the elimination there and he's gone straight for Jack Marshall. Is he going to be able Five, to gain another four. victory oh, in a true great rumble? Two, Lumped him. One. Diablo looking strong right now. And Campbell and Priscilla brawling in the corner. Jet Marshall Introducing just sent number straight 27, into the head of Drake. Oh. Lana Austin. Well, she made her presence known earlier today in That's that women's championship match. Indeed she has. Now, this is an interesting situation that Lana Austin One has half entered. of the decibels. One half of the decibels has entered into the True Grit Rumble. What does this mean? Lana Austin circling the taking, ring. Taking her time, she's not, not going to enter the ring just as of yet. Kemper's gone for Campbell. Drake is once again battering Priscilla. Poor cow. And this Rumble is pandemonium. There is a lot of animosity. Lana Austin's taking a seat ringside. Rio and Priscilla now going for Drake. Priscilla looking to eliminate him over the top rope with a backdrop. Rio coming in to assist. Great teamwork by Priscilla and Rio. Where, where's Lana Austin gone? Lana Austin is currently sat on the front row. Oh. At the front of the ring. She's not entered into the rumble. Campbell's biting Diablo. <laughs> And Jeff Marshall's biting Drake. Oh. Bitey rumble this one. It Bitey. is indeed. Making use of all the all the legalities that are not normally available to Kemper. you in a normal match. Strong showing in this rumble, showing no fear against the brutal HG Drake and throwing those elbows at him. Absolutely. I mean it's understandable that he's confident at the size and build that he is, but. This is still his debut at True Grit Wrestling. Rio, Rio, Rio got beat by Jet. Three, two, one. Jet Marshall just biting at anyone. Told you it was a bitey rumble. Introducing number 28, Ellis Barker. Well, Ellis Barker got battered. 
at the end of his match. Absolutely. Went Look through. at the redemption. Went for a match. Oh, he's back with a vengeance, though. Grabs. Yep. What a combo with Jet Marshall. Double teaming D Dara Diablo. Oh, hello. And Jet Marshall, we've, we've said this before, he may be looking for a new tag team partner. Alex Barker definitely is. Makes the save on Jet save Marshall. Jet Marshall there. Kemper. This would be quite the win here to eliminate Josh Kemper. The big man. And has he done it? No, he's got... He's, he's, in, he's, trouble. Got he's in trouble. He's got Kemper traps on the ropes. Dara Diablo. And they're all Carol joins Kemper. In. Jet Marshall and... Kemper well, has been eliminated. The Josh elimination Kemper. counts for Marshall, but it was everybody involved right there. Absolutely, team effort. And we've got now... Jet Marshall and Ellis Barker teaming together against Dara Diablo and HD Drake. Also in the ring, we've got Helen biting Rio's foot and Priscilla taking a bit of a rest. Bitey rumble, that's so it's many his. bites. It's a Ooh. very bitey rumble. It's not Lana, a to bite. Lana Austin has left a chair at ringside. Running slap by Priscilla onto Dara Diablo. Looks uh, like Jet Marshall and Priscilla looking to eliminate Diablo. And what's Lana Austin doing? Lana, Lana Austin's Austin. trying to get the ref in the ring. Why? What, what's she doing? Nice coat, though. It is a very nice coat. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to get in the rumble. Four, three, two, Big one. slap by Priscilla onto Ellis Barker. Introducing oh, number 29, boy. Commander! Stephanie Sterling! Yes, Commander! Glitter! I love glitter! And look who is square and center the in the center of the ring. Wow. As Commander makes her way in. Pure evil, Helen Campbell. Well, Helen Campbell not fond of the Commander after the last show. And she's just hitting them. Oh, right in the butt. Straight punch to the gut there from Commander Stephanie Sterling. Sterling. Has Campbell Oh, up. no! Face Buster takes out Campbell. Yes, Commander. Jet Marshall. No. No. Grabbed by Sterling. Hands. Sterling, hands. Jet Marshall to AC <laughs> Drake and he's he's just AC <laughs> Drake's just holding Jet Marshall. So that's your Priscilla. Tag partner. Oh, and gives her a kiss. That's fine. So she she, she has him back and takes back Jet Marshall. <laughs> it's AC Drake with him. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Ellen Campbell though back to her feet. No has fun. Sterling in the corner. Sterling was having fun, but that was ended by Campbell. Campbell on the top rope. Huh? And I've got another wave Hi, from, Lana. from Lana. You're not, you're not going to get in, love. No. Not yet, she says. Who's got... I believe that was Helen Helen's Campbell. Sterling eliminated Campbell. That's not going to sit well with pure evil. Absolutely not. So... Stephanie Sterling was the 29th entrant. Who will be number 30? AC Drake has come for Sterling. We have one more person to enter the Rumble and then we will have everyone in there who could be a winner. Look, 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 look Lana had a th think about it, but decided Oh, against. actually, sorry, yes, I forgot that Lana. Oh, she's taken her coat off. She has. Lana, oh, hello. Lana's there and, uh, oh, uh, ZZ. ZZ. Zizi's on the entrance way. Not oh, entering into the Austin rumble. Gets hit in the ribs with a kendo stick. Zizi chasing around the ring now. Well, they say the revenge is a dish best served cold. I'd say it's piping hot at this moment. Lana looking for protection from the fans. Lana Austin, you reap what you sow, and what you sowed was a beating with a kendo stick, and in she gets. Zizi not entered into the rumble. She's not entered number 30 in this rumble. She's not got an entry. And Rio. Rio. Eliminates, Eliminates Lana. Lana Austin. 
has been eliminated. A measure of revenge for ZZ. Five, That's got to feel four, good. Three, two, one. After all that dithering, Lana Austin got hers. Introducing number 30, Rory Coyle! He's oh, wearing enjoyable. true great wrestling. He's brought a chair, which, you know, that's okay. You can do that. In prime position to win the true great wrestling rumble. Rory Coyle gets the coveted number 30. And we've had everyone here. And Jeff Ash has gone. I was about to say one of the one of the people in this ring will win the true great rumble, but it ain't gonna be Jet Marshall. Jet Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> Huge slam by Coyle. Ellis Barker taken straight down by Rory Coyle. And he throws him onto Jet Marshall for the elimination. Ellis Barker has been eliminated. Dara Diablo has gone for Rory Coyle, but Rory Coyle, two fast eliminations, makes his impression in his debut here. He has indeed. We are Queens. now looking at a potential winner of either Commander Stephanie Sterling, Priscilla, well, Rory Coyle, Dara Diablo, Rio, or HT Drake. The queens of the space age, you could argue, have the advantage here. They are a tag team here. They have been, they have been interlocked for the majority of this match, but it looks like they've now decided to team against Dara Diablo, Rory Coyle. Rory Coyle's got Diablo by the face. He's giving him a big oh. kiss. Oh. And he's is it a kiss or he's is biting it a bite? I told you it was a bitey rumble. What is going this on? This rumble's been so bitey. And he's been eliminated by the Queens of the Space Age. Oh, we've made a friend with Rory Coyle. HD Drake slams down Rio. Looking to eliminate HT Drake as this a team is, now. This is a very interesting team of three and alliance that's formed. We've only got five left. Rory Coyle's got his chair. HT in trouble as the Queens and no! Betrayal! Rory Coyle eliminate. Well, he just. We might as well have eliminated the Queens. He's in with a chair. Oh no! Stephanie still in real trouble as Rory Coyle just her. takes takes that chair and again to the Another back of Stephanie still in brutal chair shot and Sterling is eliminated. Drake has been eliminated. Drake's got Priscilla. Vicious double underhook DDT. Uh, I think Priscilla is out for the count there. This was a free count situation. You could have counted to 100. I think you absolutely could have done. HD Drake now. All he's got to do is just eliminate. Drop over the top rope. Priscilla. Priscilla's still on the outside though. In. She's just completely out of it. And he just Scott. nudges her out. Priscilla. That is a brutal elimination by HD Drake. HD Drake pleased with his handiwork. And it looks like. So is Rory Coyle. Well, it looks like Coyle and Drake are working as a team, and that spells trouble for Rio. I've seen Rory Coyle and I've seen HD Drake work together in the past. And let me tell you something, Mark, it is not a pretty sight. Rio in huge amounts of trouble. They're looking to eliminate her if so they can take someone, each other on one on one. Not someone to back down from a fight, though, is no, Rio. No, she, she, she she's did. absolutely going to go down fighting, but she can't even get to HC Drake or Rory Coyle at this point. They've managed to avoid every single one of Rio's strikes. Dangerous. Dangerous for Rio. Takes HC Drake to the corner, but here comes Rory Coyle. Oh, oh, Rio. Rory Coyle. Here comes Rio. 
Well done, Rio, taking down Rory Coyle. A bit of separation there. HD Drake, though, Needed. came straight in from that corner. And Rio has been in the longest, I believe, out of really any real trouble in the ring. Nasty backbreaker at this point. Rio, Rory Coyle's got that chair. We saw the damage he could do, the way he hit out against the commander and the queen. Both of the queens of the space age eliminated by that chair. Absolutely. The video nasty. Takes his time and Rory. And it's given. Gets kicked to the face, the chair goes over the top. It's given Rio just enough time to break Rio. away. Has she taken down that Rory Coyle? No. She got She's him. done it. Rory Coyle has been eliminated. German suplex. One on one. Someone's going to be eliminated. Your winner's going to be Rio or HT Drake. Championship title shot on the line for both of these athletes. All of Leeds is behind Rio right now. The entirety of the left bank love Rio and want to see Drake eliminated, but Rio. Black drop by real Drake. Real trouble. She's eaten some real punishment in this contest so far. It could be the case that HD Drake might just have a case of just hitting a few more maneuvers. Stepping on. He's her got her hair. on. Yeah. It's not something she can do in return, is it? Knee drop to the cheek. You Vicious. Mustn't, you mustn't get to say that very often, Mark. I know, right? Drake now, almost toying with Rio. Very much feels like that this contest is over. Hooks her for a power, power bomb. bomb. This is it, HC Drake. May as well start announcing which title shot he's going to take. Well, he told everyone he was entering the Rumble and he was gonna win it at our last show here. And he's played an absolutely beautiful game throughout this Rumble. Hooks Rio up, puts her on the apron. Feel is this curtains for Rio? Very much feels like this is just a formality at this point. Rio, she's got a leg hooked over the ropes then. Onto the ropes. Remember, both feet have to touch the floor and they are on those ropes. She's being choked out, but she is still fighting. Rio just putting in that last gasp effort. HC Drake, maybe he's toyed with Rio a bit too long. He's well, had to break it. Him in the knee Rio's she still back. Rio's still in this. She's got to get back into the ring and reset things. Rio, though, in still in a precarious position. What is HC Drake planning here? Look at the throw it off. No, 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 she blocks it. Rio. Rio going for the suplex would be quite the win. No. I'd get out of the way if I was you, front row. And no, Rio is Rio, down, Rio, Rio's Rio. down! Oh no, oh no, oh no, she's in real trouble. She's back up though, she's back up. Oh, this is tense. I thought this was absolutely certain that Rio was... Mr. Headbutt gets one back for his trouble. Rio, get back in, get back in, she's in! Cross she's through legs. the legs of HC Drake, lifts him up. She's got to get him over that top rope, but he's hanging onto the middle rope. Throws HC Drake over. Drake's still in! No, the Drake feet didn't touch the floor. His feet didn't touch the floor, and he skinned the cat back in. I think Rio might have thought that she'd won. He's gone! She's done it! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the True Brit Rumble, number 13. Well, 13 was lucky for Rio. Indeed it was, and what an absolute hell of a performance the Rio put in here tonight. The winner of the 2024 True Grit Rumble is Rio. Rio can pick any title shot that she wants. And 
boy, oh boy, whoever she picks is in trouble. Absolutely, one of the fiercest competitors today, but also one of the most loved, one of the most respected. She's definitely going to have the crowd on side for anyone she chooses to face. What a win for Rio! What a way to start 2024 here in True Grit Wrestling. On behalf of Tom McManus... Hang on, Mark, hang on, Mark. Rio has taken the microphone. I think she's got something to say to everyone here. All right, let's listen to what Rio has to say. She's picked who she wants and it's Ivy! Do you once again for your winner, Rio! There you have it, folks. Coming soon to a True Great Wrestling show near you. Ivy versus Rio. Thank you so much for joining us. He's been Tom and Manus. I've been Mark Adams. We've been True Great. Thank you.